I'm in New York City for REIT Week 2011. Joining me is Paul Adornado, Managing Director with BMO Capital Markets. Paul, what are some of the major trends that you're keeping your eye on for the remainder of this year? Uh, for the rest of this year, we're going to keep an eye on uh, capital flows, uh, especially with respect to the uh, acquisition and disposition market, the transaction market. Um, basically, with uh, the recovery of the capital markets over the last uh, uh, several months, we've seen a, a great influx of capital that's looking for real estate. And so the good news is for the, for, for the REITs, the good news is that um, they're able to dispose of properties that they uh, have been wanting to sell. Uh, the bad news is that on the flip side, acquisitions are getting a little bit uh, too pricey. Now looking specifically at the retail sector, has the, has the recovery taken full hold and, and are we in the expansion phase yet? Uh, what we're seeing in retail is uh, very choppy. That is, uh, in the suburban markets, there's still a lot of distress and that uh, retailers still have the upper hand. In dense urban areas where a lot of retailers do not yet have a presence, we're starting to see the balance of power shift in favor of those that have available sites to offer uh, national retailers that perhaps don't have a presence uh, in these urban markets. Now, REIT investors have been riding high for the last couple of years now as share prices have risen. Do you think there's still reason for investors to be optimistic going forward? I, I think there is reason for optimism. Uh, however, uh, we do have a neutral outlook overall on REITs, uh, and so we would be very selective. We would probably take some profits on the multifamily side and invest instead in those, uh, you know, perhaps those that have exposure to urban retail, as I mentioned. We're also keeping an eye on industrial because as the U.S. economy recovers, we think that'll be a nice place for investors to, uh, uh, to put their money. Paul, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks. Thanks so much. For more REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.